witchcraft is too small for me. So me, I'm the high one. So the reason why you can also dispute about the ability of God is because you are lacking knowledge. So the disciples, they were asking, Master, we want to know the way. Show us, show us the way. Now, I want to raise the theme of my topic. Write it down. Following protocol. Following protocol. Following what? Protocol. Now, look at verse number six. Look at what Jesus is saying. I want us to read the scripture together. Ah, Jesus. Are you there? Verse number six. One, two, three, go. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus, now, Thomas, he has asked a question. Master, tell us the date when you are going to go and show us the way. And Jesus responds in verse 6 saying that I am the way. I am the way, which means <laughs> Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Then Jesus said unto him, I am the way. Okay, you are looking for a way. Here I am now. Jesus. Okay, there is. <laughs> what I speak, if you are not spiritual, can't get anything. Now, you are looking for a way. I am the way here. Do you want the way to prosper? Now, master, Show us the way. And Jesus said, I am the way. Which means the route that you are looking for, it is already before you. <sighs> you are not getting this. I am the way. Jesus would have said, I would be the way. But he said, I what you are looking for, the way that you are looking for you to walk into, Amen. it is before you. Amen. I am the way. Amen. Not just the way, but I am the truth. And not just the truth, but this truth has the ability Amen. to bring a life. <laughs> and going down there, Let's read verse number six. Keep on man, be in the spirit. Be in the spirit. Let's go to number six. One, two, three, go. Jesus said unto you, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh. Okay, okay, okay. That is protocol now. That is protocol now. I am the way. Since you are eager. Not just to know about when I will go. You want also to know the way. Okay, now let me open up to you. Amen. The way that you are looking for, I am the way. Amen. Amen. Not just the way, but I am the truth. Amen. And the life. Amen. And going down there, the Bible says, no man no man. No man. Amen. Whether tall. Whether educated. Whether influential. Amen. 
whether having PhD, Amen. no man Amen. can go to the what? To the Father, but by me Amen. or through me. Amen. This is a spiritual protocol. You can never go to the Father because there is a spiritual protocol. There is a procedure. Amen. There is a way. Amen. Amen. Before you go, before you take a journey from one place to another place, you need to know the way. Amen. For you to take a journey from point A to point B, the first thing that you need to ask yourself as a normal being is what kind of a route? Because there's a lot of routes. Amen. But what kind of a route am I going to use to reach my destination? Amen. So before you arrive to your destination, there is a protocol set in place. Amen. There is a protocol set in place. Now why am I talking about protocol? Because I want to deal with some certain things. <laughs> you know, The biggest problem of each and every organization is following protocol. Following protocol is the biggest problem of any organization. Okay, what is protocol? Right. Right. La Rushidiakas. What is protocol? Le rushi diakas. Regia tuja diakata. Maya tosha bahatesh. Are you there? Are you ready to write? Are you ready to write? What is protocol? Protocol is the acceptable way within a community a procedure over how to behave. Protocol is the acceptable way within a community or a place or a nation or a procedure of how to behave in that place or what kind of a character required in that place. What do I mean? Each and every place that you deal with requires a certain behavior, a certain character. That's a reason you come to discover there are some certain characters that you have that are prohibited. There are some certain things that you would do, you would do that will break protocol and because you have broken protocol, you will suffer for so many years not having employment. So when I talk about protocol, protocol, it is a what? It is a procedure or it is a structured procedure or a structured system Blessed by people to emphasize the order. To emphasize order. Then, if we must have order in our businesses, then we need to put tight our protocol. If we must have order in our church, if people must come in church and are not do what they feel like doing, 
then there must be an executive committee to sit down and come up with high level of structures that will be able to cause people to have order in the way they talk, in the way they look at life, in the way they behave, in the way uh, 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 they, they relate with uh, their fellows. protocol. We have the biggest problem in church. Especially to people that are so spiritual. It is. They, are, they, they have totally rejected the protocol. <laughs> to some protocol is like a punishment. To some to follow protocol is just like a punishment. There is a protocol set in place before you reach your destination. Whether you are educated, there is a protocol that you must follow. So we have a problem with a lot of spiritual people. Spiritual people. To follow protocol, it is a biggest problem. Jesus said, there is no man Especially all these that are working around the prophet. There is no man who can see. This is what Jesus is saying. There is no man who can see my father. First, he must talk to me. In another way, my father, he has given me an assignment. He has gazetted me. He has given me authorization to do things on his behalf. Which means there is no need for you to see my father. If you can't respect me, then you can't respect my father. You're not getting this. You're not getting this. You're not getting this. If you can't respect me, Jesus is saying you are looking for the way. I am the way because I was sent as a way Amen. by my father. So there is no way, there is no way you can break protocol. There is no need even for you to see my father because I am representing my father. Amen. <laughs> ah. This is the biggest problem in the church. Following protocol. Not only the church but also in businesses. People can't follow protocol of businesses. Oh Jesus. Give these people understanding. Give these people understanding. Give these people understanding. Give these people understanding. I receive. Give these people understanding. I receive. Even if, even if you don't want to hear this message, the Holy Spirit is ready to hear it. Because I'm not just ministering to you, I'm also ministering to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. I receive. So there is an exchange process. I receive. So as I'm ministering to you, you must exchange to me by agreeing. I receive. So Jesus says that I am the way. I am the way. You want to reach my father. You want to talk to my father. But there is a route to take. There is a procedure. And that is a problem that I have personally seen with spiritual people. Spiritual people. And all my protocol, they have suffered. Suffered. Even if even if when my protocol appears and tells you that there is no need for you to see my father, make an appointment on such kind of a day. He will be available to meet you. This, this is a structure. This is a strategy. This is how we work like. But people that are so spiritual, they will not follow. They said, because I am so spiritual, from the time of John the Baptist till now, 
the kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violence shall enter by force. You don't enter by force. There is a protocol that you must follow. If you must be blessed, there is a way, and that way it is a protocol set for you. So that you cannot be out of track. Are you hearing all those that are watching me on Facebook? There is a way set for you. It is up to you to follow it. And remember that protocol is set for what? For each and every organization. The reason why we set up protocol it is for us to be given ability to work without stress. To work according to the document or the constitution of the company, the ministry, any organization has a protocol, has procedures. Even when you want to see the president of any country you must first make an appointment to the one that is assigned to make appointments you, you, even if you know the president even if the president is your uncle even if the president is your grandfather you can't just go direct to him before you go direct to him, you, they have also the organization. They have put up structures. You will find first the door. It is locked. <laughs> so there are some certain doors that will not open up for you until you have the ability to observe <laughs> protocol. Right this point. There are some certain doors that will not open up for you until, pastor, you reach the level of observing protocol. That's the reason many people, they are, trying, they are failing to operate. Failing to operate. Failing to operate. And because you have failed to follow protocol, you are not needed. Failing to observe protocol is a sense of disrespecting the head of that organization. That's a reason you must understand that in this church, even all ushers are working for me. <laughs> all ushers are working for me. That's a reason there is a structure that we have put in place. Before you enter this organization, the first thing that you are going to meet on the door, it is qualified ushers. They will first smile on you. Because it is a system, it is a structure that we have put in place to make our visitors to feel comfortable and to feel at home. And every usher also, he must know that this is our structure. Before the visitor enters the church, this is how we behave in this place. So that's the reason we have put ashes, qualified ashes, not just ashes filled with anointing, but ashes filled with knowledge. They know what they are doing. They know how to greet people. Amen. They know how to interact with people. Amen. They know how to cause people to feel at home. Amen. And not only knowing how to speak, but also having the ability to represent the president. Amen. Because the face of the organization is not with the president. Amen. It is with those that are working with the president. Amen. So that's the reason Jesus said, there is no need for you to see my father. Yes. 
If you see me automatically, you have seen my father. Yes. So there must not be any difference between the general overseer or the CEO of the company with his workers. Because if the workers become opposite from the CEO, then it is disaster. So that's the reason we have put up structures with uh, 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 the ushers before you enter the church. Even the way they look like, you look at their hair, it is well furnished, well decorated. They have applied makeup so that when, before, you are, ya dear hata, mea haradia sika, makoroshia tahate. I receive it. Are you listening to me here? There is no need even for you to see me. The moment you see an usher, the appearance of an usher, the way the usher speaks, the way the usher prays, the way the usher moves, the moment you see me, you'll be like, there is no difference here. Yes. So there must not be any difference between Jesus and his father. Amen. That's the reason Jesus said, if you see me, if you see me, you see my father. Amen. Me and my father, we are one. Amen. Amen. What my father, in fact, Jesus says, I, I, I do as I see my father doing. Amen. <laughs> Protocol must be observed. Ha! Ah. Say protocol. Tell me about observe protocol. Shake your neighbor, shake your neighbor, tell them observe protocol. Shake them, shake them, tell them again. Even though they don't want to talk to you, tell them again. Tell them again, observe protocol. Tell them you must observe protocol. So there must not be any difference. That's the reason we make sure we, we, we have seminars, we have leadership skills or leadership uh, empowerment classes to make sure that we may immense, we may immense the structure, the system, the characters, the beliefs of the company, of the organization. That's the reason that every day I must correct you. I must correct you. I said, no, it's not done like this. Because th there is no organization. The organization is like a machine with a menu. And the menu, it is there to show you how you can operate efficiently and effectively. Failure to read the menu is failure to operate. Right. Failure to read the menu is a failure to operate. <laughs> so the reason why you are failing to operate here is because you have failed to read the menu. The structures put in place, the protocol, how, how you must operate this machine. You don't operate it by prayer. It's not Shabaya Dagaba. No. It is going back to the menu, which means, look, look, structures, structures are set by knowledge. It is a group of people who are well informed, well skilled, who sit down, who sit down, and they come up with strategies of how to keep people, how to maintain people. That's the reason that there is a strategy here right now. There is a strategy. Whatever you see, the way you look at these chairs arranged, it is a strategy of order. But a man who cannot follow order, you know what he will do? The chairs, they will be in order. Because, you know, the spirit of confusion does not work with order. How will you know a person who full of disorder? I will show you. 
There are most of you, most of my sons, most of my daughters. When I look at you, I know that you are you are a person of disorder. You are you are you are you are Karush <laughs> Diabahata. If, if we have employed that person, we are losing members. It's like we're employing uh, uh, Osama bin Radi. That's a reason. That's a reason. You find that sometimes I will not be able to see you. If I want to see you, I will speak through my son. You're not getting this. That's a reason. God is so that these people, they are full of disorder. I can't work with them. God failed to work with humanity. He said, maybe Jesus. These humans, they could, they could not follow protocol. God told them, this is a structure in the garden of Eden. Don't eat from the word, the tree of knowledge. He, man. <laughs> God said, don't eat. That's when he's going to eat. They did the opposite. That's the reason the mind of a man, the mind of a man is very wicked. It's very controversial. I know, I know, I'm dealing with sophisticated people. I'm dealing, I'm dealing with ex-thieves. <laughs> yeah. We are dealing with people before they got born again, they had these systems in their, in their, in their minds. So now, now, we are in the... <laughs> that's the reason, the way that we are dealing with... <laughs> That's the reason Jesus said it is, it, is, it, is, it is very hard for a rich man to enter heaven. Because the systems that have been built in him, the man is too rich. He has reached a point saying, I don't need God. So it is a system. He can't follow order. This is a problem that we have in the church. This church has order. That's the reason we put these chairs. But a person with a spirit of disorder and the confusion. That's the reason when I look at you, I am even afraid to work with you. Because I know, I know, I know, you, you, you are a valley of confusion. You are a valley of confusion. So the best thing is stay. Because there is a protocol. That's the reason we have set up this church in a classic way. This is a structure. Even also pastors. There is no pastor. Look, look. There is no way I can have my pastors who look like, who look like a witch doctor. It is a structure. You, they, they, they just need to understand. It is a matter of understanding protocol must be immense in people. Whether you are a pastor, you need to learn protocol of an organization. Because if you don't learn, they will fire you. And this is a problem of a lot of pastors. You know, when we have got, all of you are called ambassadors, isn't it? You are ambassadors of God. And an ambassador is, is a person who represents his country in a foreign country. So for example, I am an ambassador of Zambia. Now. Oh, you are not clapping hands. I am an ambassador representing Zambia. Now, not only Zambia, but I'm also representing the one who sent me God. Now, the duty in another way, the reason why we create embassies, embassies, embassies are simply small countries in another country. That's the reason if there is a problem in this country, the moment I run to my embassy, it is a neutral ground. It is the neutral ground. There is no way, even you, you can't even come and arrest me. Because it's like 
I am in my own country. And my government will back me. Because this is a protocol. So, the reason why the president sends ambassadors in different countries, it is protocol that he must send. And before he sends, the ambassadors are taken into systems where they are taught the systems of the country, the protocol of the country, how they must behave. How they must behave. Because you, you are not going on yourself. You are going to represent the president. And whatever you are doing there, it is in the name of the president. It is not yours. So there must not be a difference between the embassy in South Africa and the embassy in Botswana. Or Botswana and the embassy in Botswana must not be different from the one in South Africa. They must be the same. Structures must be the same. Even ambassadors, the way they talk, even their language, the way they talk, it must be the same. How will you know a structured organization? The first thing, look at the way they talk. It's protocol to greet. That's the reason when I look at you, most of my sons, I say, you, you don't know my, you don't know how God raised me up. The first thing when I come close to you, I greet you. How are you? This is me. I greet you. How are you? I will not lose anything. But for you, you break protocol. You are a boss. But we don't work like this. There is a protocol of this organization. Do you know when the ambassador has been sent to another country and he begins to do his own things? Do you know what the president does? Huh? They record the person and they, uh, they take him through what we call a rehabilitation. He undergoes what we call the process of what? Rehabilitation. Now, they remove the old mentality. They, deal, they don't deal with the person. They deal with his mentality. That's the reason when you enter in this, in this place, there is a protocol. Even, wait, 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 wait. Most of the time, you come to discover all my sons, those that are very close, you will never hear saying, them they are saying, I am sick. You will never. You hear saying, I am powerful. I am powerful. I am powerful. You will never hear, us. they are saying, no, we don't have money. They will just say, ah, you know my pocket is very powerful. It's very powerful. My pocket is very powerful. And we don't say that that woman, she's very bad. No. We say that woman, she's very powerful. <laughs> Hallelujah. You, you discover the terminology, the terminology and uh, 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 the words that we use. If you go to another Holy Ghost embassy, the terminology that I use, the kind of preaching, the kind of sermons, it must be the same with my pastors. Because this is like uh, a brand. We are raising a brand. There is no way. Look. Look, pick and pay in Johannesburg is pick and pay in Eastern Cape. There's no way pick and pay in Eastern Cape must be begin to behave like ShopRite. This is a problem. People can't follow protocol. So Jesus said, there is no need for you to see my father. If you see me, so you are not given an authorization to see me first. Some people, they are so disappointed. They say, Papa, I just want to see you. You are not permitted to see me first. In fact, before you enter this church, or when you enter this church, the first thing that you found, it was me. It's only you did not open up your eyes and see beyond. Go to the media, you will see me there. Go to the worship team, you will see me there. Go to my pastors. Just hear them very well, you will see me. You're not hearing this. 
Go to my pastors. Look at them very well. You will see me. Look at most people that are very close to me. You'll be able to, even when they are talking to you, you'll be able to hear me speaking through them. You have this protocol. So, Jesus says, Thomas, you have asked a good question. But I want to show you the way. But before I show you the way, I want you to know about protocol. You can never, you can never go and see my father. Because I am the protocol that the father has put in place. I am the way. In another way, you want to see the father, you must first go through me. That's a reason in every organization there are people that are entrusted with some certain a, a, a task with some certain responsibility. That's a reason my pastor, my pastor, when I say this is my pastor, what I am saying is that he has the ability like me. I have checked his life. I have seen his heart that he has the ability to do what I do. Even though when he's not qualified, but I can see myself in him. So when my pastor, when my pastor stands in front, he's not, <coughs> when an ambassador stands, he's standing in the name of the president. That's the reason when my pastor stands here, I am the president of this organization. When my pastor stands here, he's standing in my anointing. Amen. So, it is very easy for people to hear my pastor because there is already the president behind that person. Amen. And that's a reason. <laughs> protocol, 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 protocol. The first protocol that we are going to look at is the protocol of honor. Honor, right, honor. You can never enter a man who is so influential or you can never enter in his office without you first honoring his anointing. This is the biggest problem. Jesus said, look what Jesus said. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Jesus said, he that receiveth Jesus said, He that receiveth a prophet, not many prophets, which means prophetically there is your prophet. So you, you are busy moving around looking for prophets. <coughs> Continue moving. Continue moving. get this revelation. The Bible says, you know I teach a revelation, if you don't understand me, the Bible says, at the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Okay, so the heart there, it is the mind. Huh? The mind. The mind. The mind. The mind. God give me a revelation to review this. When Saul was looking for the missed donkeys, all what was in his heart, all what he was looking for, it was the miss, missing donkeys. And his servants, they, are, they were so prophetic. They said, Master, 
around this place. Eh? Around this place. We have a head that there is a prophet. But before we go and meet the prophet, before we meet the prophet, before you meet the prophet, we need first to research ourselves what we have. What do we have to offer? <laughs> what do we have to offer? And the Bible says, one of the servants said, we have silver, pieces of silver. And the Bible says, when they reached towards an anointed prophet, The prophet asked a question. What do you want? And uh, so spoke everything. That was in his heart. And he said, I am looking for the missing donkeys of my father. That was all. That was in his heart. And the prophet said, now that you have said everything that is in your heart, now sit down. Let me tell you what is in your heart. Now that you have said everything, but that is not all. Now let me tell you even the things that you don't know. But I need to detain you. Before I speak to you, I need to detain you. Sit down. And the Bible says the prophet, the prophet Samuel began to foretell. He began to prophesy. He said there is a prophecy over your life. It is not just donkeys. It is not just donkeys. But there is something more than donkeys. So you are looking, <laughs> you are looking for donkeys, yet somewhere there is a throne. You're not getting this. He, 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 there was not even one point where you heard this song, where he thought about him became, becoming king. So that is not all. So a prophet must sit down. So the Bible says, he that received a prophet in the name. Eh? So the first thing when my pastor is ministering, he's not ministering in his shoe. He's ministering in my shoes. So the Bible says, in the name. Remember, we're talking about, we're talking about protocol here. How you, must, how you must reach your destiny. Which way must you use? How to follow protocol? So the Bible says that he that receiveth a prophet in the name. Now, the name symbolizes identity of a person. That's the reason when we say Jesus, it is the personality of Jesus that comes out to attack your adversaries. Are you listening to me here? So when you say Jesus, it is not just a name. It is a personality that you invoke. Now the Bible says, he that receiveth a prophet in the name, <laughs> in the identity, in his personality, in his capacity. Amen. Now, le, le, this is a problem for most of you. That's the reason, if you don't understand this, I promise you, you will never get anything from the anointing that God has put over my head. He that receiveth a prophet in the name. You must understand that we have got different names. But this name 
that is received. Behind this name, there is a benefit for the receivant. <laughs> in the name, in the identity, which means the honor you give to that name is what provokes the benefit. Amen. So he that receiveth a prophet in the name, in the identity. Now, let me tell you something. Every prophet has a name. Now, can I take it deeper? Hey, can I take it deeper? He said, Jeremiah, before you came in your mother's womb, I ordained you as a prophet unto a nation. I knew you. I knew you. Which means God knows you. But he knows you by what? By name. Isaiah chapter 43. Verse, uh, verse 1. The Bible says, Fear not, O you Jacob. Fear not, O you Israel. For I have summoned you by your name. Which means he knows you by your name. Which means it's not a physical name. God does not know you by your physical name. I will show you. God doesn't know you by your physical name. There is a name that he calls you every time when he wants to speak to you. Whenever he's about to release an information there is a name that he uses to call your spirit. Which means your body has a name and your spirit. It has a name. So the Bible says, he that receiveth a prophet in the name of the prophet. And the prophet is not a body. Okay. A prophet is not a body. Now here you are dealing with two people here. That's the reason most of you, you get so shocked. You get so confused. I can laugh with you. And uh, some minute, when that man begins to manifest, even you, you feel like crying. Because uh, that man is a dangerous man. That man is a man when he manifests, even managers, they get so shocked. How do you know this? So there is a body that carries a prophet. There is a body that carries a prophet. Which means a prophet is not a body. A prophet is a spiritual being. It is a spiritual, is a spiritual uh, 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 personality that God entrusts with some certain levels of information that will happen, that must happen, or that has already happened. So every time when you meet a prophet, you must put in your mind that you are not just meeting a man. You are meeting God in a man. So the first thing that must come in your mind, that's a reason you must understand in the Bible, the Bible says when you find a man who has the ability to tell you the intent of your heart, Amen. you'll be able to fall flat. Amen. Falling flat, it is a sign of honoring the anointing. Amen. So the anointing, it will not heal you until you face the honor. Amen. The anointing will not prosper you or work for you until you honor. Amen. So you want, you want the God that uses me, yet you cannot honor him. You can't even honor him. You can't even honor, you can't even acknowledge him. He doesn't work like this. So he's not just a person, but he is, he is a spiritual being that has the ability to tell you about your present. Amen. Not only your present, but Amen. to tell you about
about your, your, your future. Not only your future, if your future is unpredictable or if your future, there's a lot of errors, the prophet has the ability to go back to your past. Yes. And to correct some certain things here. Yes. When he does some correction, not just leaving you in the past. Yes. But he has the ability to also take you. Yes. To your present. Yes. Ay, ay, ay. Not only take you to your present. Yes. Because God does not want you to remain in your present. Yes. But he has the ability also to carry you. Yes. And take you to your future. Yes. So the prophet, he has been given the ability even to speak Amen. on behalf of God. Yes. Even those things that God has not the same. Yes. The prophet has the ability. Yes. To speak them forth. Yes. I prophesy to you. I, I see millions on you. I, it. I see millions on you. I, it. I just see millions on you. In the name of Jesus. 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 I go in your past by the power of the Holy Ghost. I correct every error. I correct every error. I go in your present. I go any connection that must help you to take you to your future. In the name of Jesus, let destiny help us appear. In the name of Jesus. That is a platform. Lift up your hands. Pray a little bit. Pray, 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 pray. Lift your hands, pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sit down. He that receiveth a prophet. A prophet is given for people to profit. But the first principle of following protocol is a principle of honor. That's the reason the Bible says, honor your father and the mother. That it may be well with you. <laughs> I see people that wants to receive from my anointing. And when I look at them, I see them gossiping me. <laughs> I see them gossiping me. They'll gossip. They'll gossip and drink water. And at the end of it, they will greet me and say, Papa, how are you? How are you? How, how can you sit under an anointed man of God and become a project of confusion? Just, just to be annoyed. Just to be against an anointing that is performing miracles. A person is not happy when HIV is healed. He's only happy when people leave the church. So, there are, there are people when I, when I look at them, I feel it's a waste of time. Honor is a mature thing. For some of you, you don't know this. You know when you honor me, when you honor me, there's a son of mine that I called this morning. I was writing my book. I was writing my book. Because God told me to release all the books that I've written. Mm. 
God spoke to me, said, a time has come now, you must release all the books. So I'm focusing in writing, 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 writing. Now, do you know when I come close to you, I'm able to know your spirit, whether it is a spirit of honor. I'm able to know whether it's a spirit, because there are two spirits. There's a spirit of rebellion and a spirit of honor. I'm able to know the spirit of honor. The reason why you are failing to walk in the way that God prepared for you is not that you are not qualified. You are only lacking one thing. The principle of honor. You can't honor the man sent for you. You can't honor the man who has the ability. Okay, 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 okay. Moses, Moses, Moses. One day Moses came up with a declaration. He said, all of you children of Israel, you must never marry from Ethiopia. That's what he said, the prophet. And after he made that declaration in the book of Numbers chapter 12, few scriptures going down, you hear Moses going to marry from the same place. You will say it's confusion here. Yeah. The prophet has missed How come that you you said that we should not marry from, from Ethiopia? And you are the first one. You go and marry. You go and marry. How come? Ah, you have missed God. God is not with you. Ah, he is not with you. In fact, you are not supposed to stand. God is not with you. And there, there was a prophetess and there was Aaron as the priest. Two people. There was a priest and there was a prophetess. And the Bible says God came down, he hated them. Huh? God hated them. He said, ah, aren't you even afraid? That's what God said. He said, aren't you even afraid that this man <coughs> Even if he said he said that he should not marry from Ethiopia, even if he said it, don't you know that he's one of the meekest man? And the Bible says God got annoyed. Wait, I will show you this. When God was calling Moses, the first time, Moses asked the question, what am I going to tell the people that are sent me? And God said, tell them that I am that I am, which means God has the ability to turn himself in anything. He can be a breakthrough to you. He can be a child to you. Are you listening to me here? And Moses said, how am I going to know? And God said, tell them that I am has sent me. And Moses asked for a sign. He said, show me a sign. And God said, for you to know that I am with you, you are going to take your hand and put it in your pocket. And the Bible says, God told him, remove it out. And the Bible says, the hand was filled with leprosy. To fulfill the prophecy, in the book of Hosea, the Bible says, by the hand of a prophet, Israel was delivered. So every time when you speak the hand that is assigned to deliver you, the leprosy that was released as a punishment for the one who speaks against the hand, The Bible says when he took the hand, he removed it out of his pocket. The Bible says it was full of leprosy. Leprosy. To show that anyone who speaks by this hand, because God delivered the children of Israel using what? The hand of who? The hand of Moses. Saying by the hand of the, what? Of the prophet, Israel was delivered and preserved. So when God wants to deliver you, he will use the hand of a prophet. That's a reason when I want to bless you, I use also my hand. So 
when you speak against this hand, it turned to be a sword. That's a reason you must be able to honor the anointing. That's a reason most of you that are close to prophets, God will allow you. He will allow you even to see. You ask me, I have saved before. I have saved before. I will tell you. So, say, but the hand of a prophet. And now, the hand of Moses is having leprosy. And the God says, this is what will happen to anyone who speaks against your anointing. So, there are people that speak against the anointing. And there are those that honor the anointing. So there is a benefit of honoring the anointing and there is also a benefit of speaking against the anointing. And the Bible says God came down. Now you must understand that Miriam, she's a prophetess. Oh. This is what you must understand. We may be in, in the same room but of different class. You must understand the kind of prophets that you're dealing with. We may be of the same room, but of a different class. What I can speak within, within second, second like this, you when you speak, you, maybe you need to sleep or God to speak to you. If you read that scripture, verse 6, the Bible says, if there, is a, if there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself in dreams, in vision, in mysteries, but to my servant Moses, I don't reveal to him in a dream. I come myself. I speak to him, mouth to mouth, face to face. Four dimensions. So there are prophets, when they want to prophesy, they must go and sleep. They must go and sleep. They need a duvet. They need, uh, you think it's a joke? They will need a duvet. A heavy one. A heavy one. <laughs> it must cover them. And when they are covered, that's when now God will begin to reveal. But to Moses, he, he doesn't need to sleep. God, is God making an appointment? So they are two levels here. There are two levels here. There is a level where you are using God. And it's very dangerous if you are using God. <laughs> because you will be very tired very soon. So there is two levels. There is a level where you are using God and there is a level where God is using you. So when God is using you, it is not you having an assignment for yourself. It is God now who has an assignment for you. So when I am in this service, when I'm in this service, I don't do anything. I don't. It is him who has an assignment with me. So I don't, I, I, oh, you're not hearing this. Yes. It is him who brings the information to me. He said, my son, because he, 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 I'm like an instrument. He just uses me. So he can come to me and tell me about you. Because I'm an instrument. But you see, we have four levels of or four different types of prophets. That's the reason you must understand. You must understand if you are if you are a junior prophet, if you're in the if you're in the process where God is training you, the prophetic, you must never speak against a senior prophet. He will kill you. He will finish you. Kill you like this. <laughs> there was a story of a young prophet who was assigned to go and destroy the otters in Samaria. And there, there was an old prophet. <laughs> the, old, the young prophet decided to enter without honoring the old prophet. 
And they say, you, I will kill you. <laughs> this is my environment. You don't come and do nonsense. That's the reason you see mo most people when, when this altar is an exalted altar. That's the reason the moment I tell you that come and minister, the first thing that must enter your mind is to honor the God of this altar. Amen. You don't honor, you'll be dry. You'll be dry fish. Whereby you try to minister, it's like people, they are looking at you. They don't want to hear you. The moment you honor the anointing, you are allowing the God of that place to work on your life. Even though when you are anointed, that's the reason when I'm invited, when I'm invited, I, I, I personally tell the man of God, he say, I honor the God of this man of God. For him giving me the ability to stand on his altar, even if I know I'm higher than him. Because if he doesn't open up his heart on his altar, I will fail to operate. So the message will be going and bouncing. So we have got different kinds of prophets. Four of them. That's the reason you need to understand what kind of a prophet are you. The problem of Miriam it is to speak against a high prophet. A prophet who has the ability to deliver. Not just to speak. But he speaks and you see it. <laughs> Miriam she was just prophesying. He said, ah, you know, it will happen. But Moses, when he says the rain, receive money. You must honor, you must be, you must honor the anointing. Never, never, if you must be blessed, you must follow the process, the protocol of honor. When, when you have an appointment with a prophet, honoring is in different ways. Look at the, 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 the servants of Saul. They said we can never go to see the prophet empty handed. That's the reason most of you, the anointing will never work for you. Even the witch doctor has protocol. <laughs> when you go to the witch doctor, he will not prophesy to you. He will be quiet looking at you with a prophetic eye. <laughs> looking at you with a prophetic eye expecting something from you. And the moment you take money and you throw it on the plate, it's like you are opening the mouth of the prophet. You'll be like, now I can see. He'll begin now to do his enchantment. to speak but because of the honor you have given him by the sacrifice your sacrifice open up his mouth, his mouth to begin to prophesy or to begin to invoke let me tell you you see this altar when I is that somebody who is sick very sick huh? stand up stand up what is the problem Tell me the truth. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. So you are asking me the truth again. <laughs> okay, uh huh. Do something, Daddy. His mind is going out, please. Do it's, something. He's going crazy. Yes, he, he was supposed to go to Zimbabwe. Give him, him, give him a microphone. Let him speak for himself. Uh huh. Right. Taura, Taura, Taura. Take the microphone. Uh huh. Hello, how are you? We are fine. How are you? Huh? Yes, what is that? Oh, no, I'm just like relating. You see, uh, uh, they say I'm mentally ill. Oh. And when one is told that they're mentally ill, they have to admit. So you, you have not admitted? 
Ah, no, how can I refuse that? Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, give, give this man here. Okay, okay, okay. Now, 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 now. Oh, okay, look at this. Ah, look at this. Look at. I want to show you. That's the reason when you, when you come to this place, you must never. You must never. If you want to receive from my God, you must honor. Most of you here, most of you here, most of you here, I know all your problems. When you come to me, don't, don't, don't come like you know. Come like you are coming to receive. Not to come and show me like, ah, you know me, I know, this and that. You know me, I'm a, this is my altar. You have come to my altar. So the moment you honor my altar, my God is lifted. Amen. And when my God is lifted, Amen. blessing is released like popcorn. Amen. So it is very easy to heal this man. It's very easy. It's very easy. The, the, the mother is there in the corner. They are supposed to go back and I said uh, they must not go. They must see you. Because this guy, since uh, about 10 years now, is not well in the mind. But he's an intelligent boy. Eh. So his mind leaves him, and the mother has been taking him all, all corners of the to, to get uh, to the to the, witch, to the winch doctor. There is she in the corner there. So I said she must not go without seeing you. Did you go to the winch doctor? Winch doctor. Did you go to the winchy winchy winchy? Not witchy winchy. Huh? <laughs> Yes, when, when this problem started, yes, I went to wish doctors, but now I later went to church. Ah, after it failed? Yes. In fact, you didn't operate. You didn't Can operate. I see what you have written on that board? Prophet D.D. do something. Power! She believes in my God. Yes. You, you, you are just coming. You, you are coming. You, you are coming. You don't even believe in my God. There is a God of Abraham. Yes. And there is a God of Titi. Yes. Pow. So, don't ex expect the God of of did Isaac to behave like the God of Abraham. Of Jacob. The God of Elijah answers by fire. The God that I serve is specialized, major side. Yes. With healing impossible sicknesses. Yes. Because you see, you're, you're coming from Zimbabwe. Yes. Huh? Yes. You're coming from Zimbabwe. Yes. <laughs> Professor. So you just came from Zimbabwe just to see me. Yes. Just to see me. Just to see me. Yet you, you, you see me every day of your life every day of your life. And most of you, I lay hand on you. And most of you, I even talk to you. When you honor a prophet, the Bible says, then you shall receive. Amen. <laughs> so receiving is second. Honoring is first. Amen. There is no receiving without honoring. Yes. May you receive your heart desire. I receive it. As your hands are lifted. I receive. Any impossible situation. I receive. The God that I serve. I receive.
may he give you testimonies that you have never seen. I'll receive it. In the name of Jesus. I'll receive. In the name of Jesus. I'll receive it. Sit down. So, don't worry. Your what? Your child. After you leave this place. I your child will be 100% okay like a newly born baby. Yes! I hear the Lord is saying that tell them a season of signs and wonders has come now. I receive it! I receive it! I hear the Lord is saying that tell my people. I receive it! A new season of celebration has come out. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Sit down. Now. You honor. Don't worry, your, your son is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I want people. That when they are coming to this church, they are not coming for, for other things. Amen. They are coming specific. Their problem must be assigned to my God. Amen. Don't you come with double mind here. You come to test. Don't test. Don't come and test me. Amen. Come and deceive. Whatever has made you cry for the rest of your life. I receive. Tonight you shall look for it. I receive. The God of D.D. Isaac has I removed it. I receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. Sit down. If you are coming. To this God. Don't have doubts. Your duty it is just to honor, yes. honor the anointing. Yes. Look, look, look. Most of you, you have known me now. You have known me now. You just saw me on the TV, this and that, and uh, God by divine uh, 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 assignment, He brought you here. Oh, you don't know me. You don't know what even God told me. You even don't know what God can do with me. Amen. I was with my brother one day. We sat. My older brother, Apostle Peter. I told him, I said, look. I want you to see today. I want you to believe. Because... Even though you are my elder brother, I can see a sense of doubt. I told him, I said, today, I want you to come. I want you to be in my bedroom and see every time when I'm sleeping. I want you to see every time when I sleep. See what happens. I slept. While I was sleeping, he saw my body being lifted from the bed. Like this. Being lifted. And the man was screaming. <laughs> screaming like this. I was telling somebody, I said, I have the ability, I can command I can command you. Even now, money to appear in your pocket there. See. I taught somebody. I said, the level that I believe God. I 
was with people one day here. I said, today I'm, I want to show you that I can even command, even cars can obey. You remember I commanded, I said, let full tank appear. Yes. Everyone was testifying of full tank, if you will. Yet they came on E empty. You have, you have seen, you have seen live on the service like this. I call somebody who has been sick for HIV for 25 years. I just said, touch my shoe. Go and test. Did the test eight, 11 times. All of them, they are negative. Power. Some of you, you are there. I caught somebody here with a bottle. He brought his water. I said, you water now. Turned by the power of the Holy Ghost. You saw people, they could not even drink it. You are even vomiting. A level is coming that a, some of you, you will see me disappearing in your midst. Yes. I'm telling you. It will be all over BBC. It will be all over BBC. You hear a prophet disappeared and the congregant scattered. Because it's a new miracle. They have never seen it. It's a level that you have never seen. You, you, you don't deal with a man here. There are, some, there are some sons that those that I'm living with, they will tell you even at home. They will hear voices like, ask them, they will tell you. They will hear a voice calling them. Jane. And she will come, hey, daddy, are you, you are calling me. I said, no. <laughs> ask her. So you stand up. Ask her. She will tell you. Even ask, not even her only. Ask everyone who is staying with me. They will tell you. Huh? What happens? I hear your voice every time you're calling me. When I come to you, say I'm not calling you. I was, I was with you last time. I was with you last time. I did not call her. What happened? Huh? She came running. She came running. He said, Papa, you are calling me. Even her, you. Stand up. Ask her. Ask her. Huh? Yes, Dad, you would, I would hear you calling me and I'll come to you. You hear my voice. Yes, and you say you, I didn't call you. Oh. They will hear, even sometimes when I'm out like this, when I'm out, they will hear my voice like speaking in the house. speaking in the, what a manner of man is this? May the voice of God speak blessing in your heart. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. It is a level, you know, it's a level whereby even myself, I, I just, I just give myself to God. I said, God, do your own, do your own will. Do your own will. I was in the office there. These guys, they were looking for me seven times. Seven. How many protocol were there? There was a lot of pro Seven times they were looking for me. Where is Papa? How can you allow Papa to go, to go alone? Huh? You, what happened? Ask. Uh, we came several times looking for you. Pastor Emmanuel was saying, no, you didn't go down. So I was Where is Pastor Emmanuel? You. Explain. Or maybe you saw me going down. Ah, ask him. Maybe he saw me going down. Huh? That he, they were looking for you and I came from downstairs. When I came, they said, where is Pabs? So I said, uh, he's still inside the office. They wanted to fight me, daddy, because they were like, where, where in the office? They wanted to fight you? Yes, daddy. <laughs> Oliver was screaming, saying that he just come from office right now, because he's your PA. So I, I was like, okay, hold on, let me check. I came in, I found your jacket hanging on your chair, and you were not there, daddy. 
And then when we were still arguing, I came back again. I found you seated, wearing only your shirt. Found me. I was put. I was putting on my suit, preparing to go to the service. And in such kind of a man, God has blessed you with. You know, some of you, you must thank God of prophetic churches. Some of you have been in trouble. Prophets, even if prophets are so much attacked, some of you, by this time, you would have been in, in what? Last fight, Pentecost. You would have been, you are, you, you'd have been a priest with a red gown. <laughs> you have been, you'd have been a Zionist <laughs> or a Kimbangist. <laughs> Thank God of prophetic churches. You must honor. Tell me about you must honor. Tell me about you must honor the anointing. This is the protocol to receive. To receive. Lift up your hands. Say, Father. Father. Starting from today. Starting from today. I will follow protocol. I will follow protocol. In the name of Jesus. 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 Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Bless me. Bless me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and begin to pray. Begin to pray. <laughs> Le rosso para la caro sotabi ina adala casata le rosso ta maro sota i kata rosso ta i maso ta libra le soma adala cari sota le rosso brina topla adala caro sota mina ano sota li rosso ta la kata le rosso ta lima adala caro sota de bausata rise up rise up let's pray let's pray lift your hands lift your hands lift your hands pray lift your hands pray 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 pray
the Lord tells me to tell you. Jesus. When a prophet is declaring, you honor the anointing in so many ways. Amen. You honor by agreeing to the word of prophecy. I pray for you. Amen. Let God surprise you. Let God surprise you. Let God surprise you. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Sit down. What is the problem? Huh? I have pains all over my body. All over your body? Yes. What is the problem? You stand up. Stand up. I see three children. Yes. I see three children. Yes. One boy. Yes. Two girls. Uh, yes. Huh? Yes. Have you ever talked to me? I'm uh, talking to you. I'm saying, have you ever written anything or told me your problem? No, I've never. Huh? Now, there's a big problem in your marriage. Yes. Huh? Yes. There's a big problem in your marriage. Yes. If you're not careful, you can end up divorcing. Okay? Okay. When I was looking at you, I heard in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yes. Cincinnati. Who is this person? It's me. Huh? It's me. Professor. I heard a, another name like Sipo. Yes. Sipo. Sipo. Yes. Sipo. What is this? Sipo. I'm not quite sure. It's like Sibo. I don't know how you pronounce it. Yeah. What is it? Okay. Sibo. Sibo. Something like that. What is the name of your last born? What is the name of your last born? It's Kuku. Huh? Kuku. No, no, no. There is a, there's a, there's a thing here. Yes. I'm seeing Sibo. Is, is she in school or what? No, no, no. Ndebele. Huh? I'm speaking Ndebele. Who is in school among your children? The last born, is she in school? Yes. Huh? No, no they, are, they are not in school, the last born. They are not in school? Yeah, the last born. Okay. I see somebody by the name of Sipo. Yes. Okay? Yes. And I want to pray for you right now because yes. you may end up divorcing. Okay. Amen. When I look at you, your grandfather married three wives. Yes. Huh? Uh, married to 13 wives, actually. No, officially, three wives. Yes, that's okay. There was uh, Ruth. Yes. There was uh, Sinotemba. Okay. Sinotemba. But you, you are from the fifth, something like fifth. Oh, grandfather, yes, you're right. He was married to three wives. Professor! But your father, yes, your father had the 13. Yes, my father had, had 13. 13 wives. Yes, 13 wives. He had the 13 wives. Yes. I, I see a place, I see a place, I see a place, I see a place in Zimbabwe. Yes. In Zimbabwe. But this place is like, uh, 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 like, like Gweru. Uh, Gweru. Is, is, no, yeah. I see a place like Gweru. There's yeah. a woman. Yes. There's a woman that your father married. She was yes. from Gweru. Yes. Her name, it was Rudo. Rudo. She was coming from a witch doctor's lineage. Um, and your father, as I look at your father now, yes. Yes. I'm seeing a man who is in the coffin. Yes. Huh? Yes. Like he death or, or kite. Ye death yes. or cut. Yes, he was dead. Some when, yes. uh, when this man died, yes. there was a problem with his 13 wives. Yes. The children began to fight for properties. Exactly. Huh? Yes. But Amen. your father was a poor man. Yes, he was a poor man. Very poor, but yes. energetic in marrying women. Yes. <laughs> and then when I look at you, I see the biggest problem. Because the problem that I see is like, I see a problem of work. Work. Yes. Huh? Um, you are looking for like a job. Yes. Huh? Yes, I do. Because it's like when I was looking at you, I was taken to Soweto. When right. I was taken to Soweto, the Lord they say stay in Soweto. Yes. Do you know Soweto? Yeah, I know Soweto, but I'm not living in that. But I see Cosmo. Yes, I'm living in Cosmo. Professor. Yes. 
When I was going to Soweto, the Lord says, look at him. I was seeing people traveling and I was seeing a car business. Yes. A car business. Amen. God is going to give you like a, like cars, cars, yes. cars. I'm seeing I, transportation business. I receive. You don't want to receive. Yeah. Take receive. it on his behalf. I receive. Take it on his behalf. I receive. You. You took this boy somewhere. You took this boy somewhere. I, I, I don't remember. There is medicine. Medicine. Okay. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Medicine. Bring it here. Wow. Come here. Uh -uh. Okay, put them down. Put them down. So this is a medicine. This is for what? For the... The, huh? the doctor said he have the 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 the, the tonsils, tonsils on Friday. Do you know someone? Who, do you know someone who was uh, born on the third? Yes, it's Tumelo. It's my son. It's him. Yes. Wow. I. You know, this is why I don't love prophesying. This is why I don't love to prophesy to people that don't know how to honor the prophetic. Oh! You, did you tell me that he was born on the third? Yes. You told me? No. Thank you, Prophesy! Whenever a prophet is prophesying, there must be noise in the church. Yes! That's the reason most of you, you don't receive. It's because you are too calm. This child, I see, is it the firstborn? No, it's the second born. Is it the second born? Yes. Where is the firstborn? He said, she said home. Huh? She said home. She's at home. Yes. Because when I was looking at him, the Lord says, the Lord says, count from 15 to 19. How old is he? This one. He's turning 15 now. Wow! Prophetic sharpshooter. The Lord says, count from 15 to 19. Because in the spirit, in the spirit, they are the sign that this boy must die at 19 years. That's the reason the Lord has sent me tonight to come and correct every error. Thank you, Jesus. I receive it. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. You, Thank you, your Jesus. boy will not die. Thank you. Your boy will not die. Thank you, Jesus. He shall live. I see him walking after this service. I see God restoring your life, the life of your family. Thank you, Jesus. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See now, this boy was supposed to die at 19 years. In fact, the day when they said that this boy must die, it was in February. February. That's the reason I see a lot of attacks on this boy. Because what happened is that this boy, this problem started at school. It started at school whereby he was having like problem. He, he began complaining about back problem, back problem, back problem. Yes. And then when you took him to the doctor, to the doctor, yes. the doctor said that meningitis, meningitis, meningitis is like, he's having like a problem like water, water in the spinal cord. And the Lord they told me that this is demonic. This is witchcraft. Somebody must die. For this boy to live. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know somebody was born in June? In June. I don't remember. In June. Where is your husband? Where is your husband? Come here. This one is next. This one is next. Yeah. This one, an accident, wanted to take his life. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. This one, an accident. Yeah, you remember the issue of an accident? Yeah, Kilega Cry accident, Zimbabwe 2010. Huh? Remember your leg, your leg. Uh -huh. Huh? Uh -huh. You had like a fracture, like, like, a, like a mark. Not only that, but the Lord says, I must pray for the healing of 
both of you. Because all of you in your family, they have marked you that you must die. Even you, even you, even you. There was a time you were in intensive care. Intensive care. Whereby you could not even breathe. You could not even breathe. You yes. had like problem of breathing. Yes. Huh? Yes. It was in 2011. Yes. Professor D.D. Isaac. Sir. Huh? Yeah. When I look at you, I'm seeing somebody like a police officer. Like a police officer. But you are not a police officer. I see somebody like a police officer coming to plant charm over your house. And I'm seeing like seven eight, seven eight. I don't know what is this. Seven eight, seven eight, seven eight. I see seven eight. Seven eight. I, I, I don't know. What is your house number? Sir? What is your house number? 79, 1798. Huh? 1798. Wow! Now, HIV positive. Huh? Even it's HIV positive now. Ah. Mm. ah, this one. This one. The Lord is going to touch you. The Lord is going to heal all of you. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Break, break, Jesus name. Break, break, Jesus name. Brother, come here. Break, break, Jesus name. Break. Is your first husband? First husband, this one? Yes. Huh? Yes. But you are not the first wife to him. Yes. You are not the first wife to him. It's true. He was married, this one. Y yes, it's true. Huh? Yes. You were married. Yeah, I was you married had two before, children. Before I got this, this. Huh? Before I got this woman, I was. Before you got her, you were married. Yes, I was. That's married. where you had the problem there. Yeah, it's true. Pow! Sir, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Can, can I speak to you? Don't quench my anointing. The Lord is about to bless you, sir. The Lord is about to open up gates of wealthy and prosperity. Amen. I receive. There's been a lot of challenges. I receive. The Lord is taking me to Cameroon. I receive. Cameroon. Yes. When I'm in Cameroon, I don't know what is this. I see an opportunity opening for you with the people of Cameroon. And the Lord says I must correct some certain things on your paper. Especially with your resident permit. Because you applied, you applied, you applied, you applied, and there's been like a rejection. Yes. Is it true? It's true. Huh? It's true. Is it true? Yes, I receive. Because as I was as yes. I was in uh, in Cameroon, I was taken to Benin. When I was in Benin, the Lord says, sit in Benin and look at him. Where are you coming from? Congo. Huh? Congo. But you speak like French. Yes. Huh? Yes, I speak French. Wow. Koma? Oui, ça va bien. Oui, ça va bien. Ça va bien? Oui, ça va bien. Okay. Professor, go deeper. In your family, yes. you were blessed with your hands. The Lord blessed your hands. Yes. I see you working with your hands. Yes. Huh? Yes. What do you do? At the moment, uh, I'm working to the uh, warehouse. Huh? The As warehouse. What? Are we working for the medication? Huh? For the medication. Okay. Now, do you know somebody called? Because the Lord is going to cause you to have favor where you are working. I receive. 
Now, the reason why God is taking me to Benin is because I saw a door opening for you. I see. To the point that in this year you begin to fly from different places. You are just looking just like that. Receive. Who is this one? Like a kaka. It's a kenem. Kaka. Wait, wait. It's a surname. It's a surname. Starting with K. Kaluj. The moment huh? Kaluj. Kaluj. I, don't know, I don't know what it is. Kaluj. 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 Uh, what is that? It's the name of Congolese. Huh? It's the name of Congolese. Now, you. Mm. There is a place. Yes. There is a place. Mm. Like, when I look at you, there is a place where you're coming from. Mm. They practice a lot of witchcraft. Too much witchcraft. That's the reason whatever you touch, it doesn't prosper. Yes. They fight your hands. Yes. They have imposed a curse on your hands. That's the reason even to marry, it is a problem. Okay. Are you married? No. Are you I'm married? Not, I'm not married. I'm saying what? <laughs> Professor! That's the reason even to get married, you, it is a problem. I see the devil saying that you must marry at 43. Mm. 43. Mm. Yes, sir. But I break the cash. At God, I receive. I receive. I receive. 35, 38. I receive. You shall get married. I receive. How old are you? 42. How old are you? 42. Huh? 42. I said what? Huh? I said the devil I said what? 42. He must not get married at what? Huh? 43. Okay. Now he's out. 40. 42. Okay. I receive, I receive, I receive. Oh. Which means, what I'm saying it is prophetic. Yes. The devil said that he should not get married at 43. And he's a 42. Which means that by the time he would have been 43, he wouldn't have get married. But I break the case. So now at 43, he will get married with the two twins, a boy and a girl. One boy you shall call him Trezor. 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 Okay? Do you know Trezor? Trezor, yes. Who is Trezor? Trezor is the name of my friends. Huh? The name was one of my friends. Trezor. Yes. Yeah. Trezor. Trezor. And the other one you name you name ah you name him like he like he like he say uh Professor Jose. 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 Jose, yes. Who is this one? Jose is my in-law. Huh? He's my in-law. In-law. Yes. Jose. Jose. I receive. I receive. Jose. I receive. Give the name of your child. Okay. Jose. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I break the cash. Come here. It is done. You are not even happy. I receive. Stand up. The Lord has remembered you. Can everyone sit down? Sit down, everyone. Sit. Sit here. Can everyone sit down? The Lord has remembered you. Between accounting. Account, accounting. I saw somebody counting money. And when I saw this person counting money, I saw a demon in a form of a fish coming to attack all your family members. 
And the Lord he says, look. Because while I was looking at this demon, I saw an ego that was flying. And that ego was a flying on the four, four chicks. Four chicks. Four chicks. And the Lord he says, the chicks that you see, these are the siblings. Siblings. What number are you? Number what, number are you? what number are you? Number and how many are you? We are two. Huh? Two. You are two. But who is born in the fourth month? April. I don't remember either. You don't have anyone who died. Hmm? You don't have anyone uh, who died. My younger sister. Wow! How did this girl die? Huh? Give a microphone. Uh -huh. She had a breathing problem. She had a breathing problem. Yes, Papa. I saw this fish. Came and they took one chick. One chick. And the Lord says, kill this demon. Amen. Something, Papa. Do something. Do something. That's the reason. Most of you in your family, there's a demon of asthma. Yes, even asthma. my brother was huh? crying. My brother, even now, he has a problem. He has even a problem yes. of asthma. Yes. It is yes. a demon. Even you, you have a problem of asthma. Yes, it is a demon in the form of a fish. The Lord says, after I finish, the demon Do will die. That's the reason all, all of you in your family, you are suffering from asthma. It is a demon that killed this, this girl. How do I know all these things? And this girl, she was a very brilliant child. She, she was born in 17, she was born with 17 stars. Yes, it's huh? true. It's true. She was good, but she was suffering at school as well. I hear, I hear between, between the six and the eight. When was she born? Um, I'm, I'm, when was she born? I'm not sure about the date. Ask. Six and the eight. Because I see this child, I see this, she was not supposed to die. Yes, it's true. It's true because even die. when we buried her, she was not, she was still, it, she, like she was not cold at all. She wasn't. They buried a living human being. It's true, Papa. She was still looking alive. She was. She the, 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 burial, the burial was, it happened very fast. Yes, Papa, it's true. It's it true. happened very fast. Mm. Very, very fast. Because this is in two days. The third day they are saying, let's go and bury. Yes. Let's go and bury. Because even the mother, she said she had a dream. And uh, the, uh, Shanta was saying, why did you allow uh, my dad to bury me? Because Tadi should have taken me uh, to, to Prophet Bushiri's church. They buried a living person. This child, asthma too. Asthma. She's in the hospital. Now. Huh? <laughs> She's, as I'm talking to you, I just see my angels right now going to the hospital. Oh, you are no Thank hearing you, what Jesus. I'm trying to say. I receive. Thank you, Lord. Receive. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. Receive. I saw the angel right now. My angel. His name is very tall. He was going to the hospital. I received. In word number nine. I received. Going to deliver the child. I received. And the Lord said the child is delivered. I received. From the spirit of asthma. I received. Even you. Even you. I received. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. It is Thank done. You. Thank you. After Father. the service, they will call you. You are going to receive a number from 08440923111. I receive. I receive. Go. I receive. It is done. I Put your two hands for Jesus. Wow. You. The Lord says you are healed from asthma. Breathe three times. Breathe. Turn around three times. Go. Jesus' name. You are free. The Lord has remembered your family. Thank you, I receive. This woman, she was not supposed to die. I receive. This girl, this girl, she was not supposed to die. If you had brought her to church, you would have resurrected her. Do something, Papa. Do something. 
Stand up. Stand up. The one who came with this woman, uh, with, with this man. Can, come here, come here, come here. Your child, when he was very young, your child when he was very young, yes. huh? I see a terrible operation on his legs. Okay. Oh. Yes, uh, it's prophet. A terrible operation. Hmm. Go deeper, prophet. Stand up. How are you? How are you? Ye tang is shelly a car is all. Yes, a man, I'm a false prophet. You demon. He's, he's asking me a question. Am I supposed to fall? Moses. Yes. Who is Moses? He's my cousin's uh, son. Huh? It's my cousin's son. In your family, there is madness. There's yes. a demon of madness. Yes. That is true. This is he's not the only one yes. who has been mad. Yeah. There's been three people. Yes, he's the third one. Huh? I think he's the fourth one. Fourth one? Yes. Prophecy. Because when I look at your family, I see a demon of madness and this demon is a rounding over all your children. When I was counting, is he number who or which one? He's the first one. First one, this one. He's my first born. Huh? He's my first born. Is. That's a reason there's a lot of attack on him. Because this man was supposed to be a successful man. I see, I see this one was supposed to be an engineer. He was supposed to be an engineer. But this man, they turned all his mind. Mm, and I saw in the spirit. Where is the father? He's late. He's late. Yes. Now. Listen to me. Okay? Now. Lift your hands. By the name Jesus. Every spirit of insanity. Out! Turn around two times. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. This one. They are this. This one. Remaining like this. You would have, you have put a chain on him. Yes, we, we when, when, when it happens when I'm at home, I normally take him to an psychiatrist hospital with the police. With the police? Yeah. Sometimes it's very violent. Yes. Very violent. Yes, it is. Okay, now the demon has gone. Yeah. Pow! When you go, begin to observe him. The Sunday, bring him here again. He will come no more. I receive.
Clap hands for Jesus. <gasps> sit down, sit down. Sit down. Thank sit you, down. Jesus. The demon has left. Daddy. What has happened? Daddy, there is an instant miracle here, Daddy. Ah. Just as you were ministering, this man here came from Rustenburg, and he was having a pain on his leg here. The pain was swollen. Yes. And then, as you were ministering, Daddy, when you declared, he said the, a sharp pain just came on his knee, and then right now he can't feel any pain at he all. He can't feel any pain. Yes, Daddy. Come and on, put your two hands for Jesus. <sighs> Come here, sir. I want, I want to pray for you. It is cancer. 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 Can you speak up? Yes. Huh? Yes. Come here. You know some certain people, the way they, they stand like he, they stand like <sighs> You are lucky that today I'm prophesying. You, where have you been, my son? Where have you been? Where is my daughter? Ah, hello. Where have you been? We've been around Midran, Teddy. Midran? Yes, Teddy. Oh, I've missed you, eh? I've missed it too. Love so much, you, son. Lord. Love you too. Thank you. Wow. What's the problem with that child? To come to church. Lise. Sorry? Lise. I don't know her name. She just sent me the picture. Lise. Lise. I will phone and find out. Oh, now, now. Thank you. Me, I love now. <laughs> now, sir. How are you? Johnny? All right, all right, my friend. Prophet. <laughs> <laughs> this man, eh? <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm all right, my friend. I'm not all right. Ah, you have a lot of work, eh? Yeah. Can everyone sit down? I want to speak to you, this man. I want to pray for you, sir. Sorry? I want, I want to pray for you. The first thing. Does he smoke? Yeah, he's smoking. Huh? He's smoking, prophet. Too much, eh? Too much. Where's the cigarette? said, I need to pray for him against the spirit of cancer. Cancer. I saw the doctor writing leg cancer. Mm. Leg cancer. And uh, this man, he has a problem where his legs is like, it's like uh, fungus. Fungus. Yes, prophet. Huh? Yes, prophet. It's like sores come yes. out of his leg. Yes, Several prophet. times. Several times. Even on his butter, butter, butter course. Yes, prophet. There is one here. Yes, yeah, prophet. Yeah. Yes, prophet. And every time when you want to sit, you feel pain. It's like every time I see these, these, these souls all over you. And the Lord told me to pray for you. When you came, I saw, I saw a story of Job. The Lord says, look at him. He's like Job. Now, you're a very good man, but I want you to stop Smoking. Where's the lighter? Bring it. Power! Prophetic Papa. Prophetic Papa! Power. What's wrong? What do you want? Ah. So, 
this man, Sandy Ledlot, don't want to give me the appeal, Papa, to go back to work. Uh -huh. You prophesied on Sunday. Today I was in the hearing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So this Sunday, let your Lord must give me the appeal so that I must go back to work. Go. I receive, I receive, Papa. I receive. Turn around two times. Look at me. Take. In Jesus' name. Jesus. It is done. Thank you. Sir, you have a bright future. Shh. You have a bright future. But I want to deliver you. There's a spirit. The spirit that took your father, that killed your father, wants to kill you. Your father also was a smoker. A very dangerous one. Even you, the same thing. Now this spirit has even entered the children. Not only that, you are sick. You are having your blood. It's not okay. Yes. Huh? Your yes. blood is dirty. Yes. The Lord says, I must heal you. Yes, even sir. him. The Lord says, I must heal you. Yes. Because I see you even drinking pills. Yes, huh? prophet. Like a Arabis. Yes, prophet. Professor. I have given you tonight. Tomorrow, go and test. HIV will die. Yes. Thank you, prophet. Thank you. You, if God can give you money, you, you, you lady there. Can everyone sit down? You, you, you. If God can give you money. Yes, Papa. You can't, you can't stay. That's true, the reason God, God is the one who is closing all your doors. It's true, Papa. Your heart is not a genuine heart. It's true, Papa. Do Come something, here. Papa. Come here. How many children do you have? This man, hey, he has got too many women. Yes, too many. Papa. Yes. Too many. Can I yes. advise you? Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes, prophet. Yes, you, you need a lot of help. Go deeper. I repeat again. I'm asking you. Do you know? <laughs> Power. Sir, let me put it like this. Sir, sir. In the spirit, you were supposed to marry eight women. In the spirit, you're supposed to marry eight women. That's the reason you find that there's a lot of problem. Because I see you having children. Children from different, 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 different yes, places. Prophet. And they are a lot, these children. They are a lot. They are a lot. It's like, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I want to help you. Love this woman. Love her. God will take you on top. Are Amen. Huh? Amen, brother. Now, do that. I'm giving you an instruction. Shh. Now, you are living as, as, uh, you are living as a friend. You, all of you. Like a friend. Yes, huh? yes prophet. Yes, Perfection. prophet. Yes. This man is dead. Yes, He's prophet. Dead. Yes, That's prophet. today. Yes, prophet. Jesus has resurrected. Ah. Pow! Pow! Go. Go and enjoy your wife now. Thank you, Jesus. I see a phone here. I see a phone. Remove it. Remove the phone here. Jesus! Pow! Give me your phone, you see, I'll put for you the your code. 
I put for you a cord. Okay, I've opened it for you. I've opened it for you. Power! Power! I love your heart. You are covered. You are healed. Receive. I'm not joking. I received. Now, what you will do uh, tomorrow, okay? I receive. Tomorrow. I receive. You will do first test, second test, third test. I receive. All of them, they will be I negative. Receive. I receive, prophet. I receive. But that's not all. There's a, there's a what? There's a hospital called what? La Lancy? Lansek. Go to Lansek. Okay? Go yes. to Lansek. Yes, yeah. prophet. They will personally tell you that you are negative. I receive, prophet. I receive. Jesus. Go. Come on. Jesus. Come here. Lift your hands. Break. Break. Come here. Come here. Do you know Rachel? Regina. Who is this one? My mother. Huh? My mother. Power! She died of what? Is she around? Or she died? Uh, she's around. Huh? She's around. What is her problem? HIV. Huh? HIV. Power! You and your mother, all of you, you are perfect now. You are perfect. I receive. God bless you. Clap hands for Jesus. Put your two hands for Jesus. Come on. How are you? You're from where? You're from where? Stand up, stand up. You're from where? I'm from Cosmo City. Cosmo City, take the grace. Thank Come here. The Lord will bless you now. Oh, I receive. I see the Lord blessing your hands. I receive. You have struggled for five years. I receive. All the five years, it has been like years of struggling. I receive. Even in terms of relationship, it has been a problem. Yes, is it true? It's true, huh? brother. Now the Lord says there is a stable relationship coming for you. I receive. It is done. Thank you. What is the problem? Hospital is HIV positive. Prophet, do something oh, today. The reason why you come here is because I'm a specialist. Yes. Oh, yes, Prophet. Come in. Oh. Stand up. Jesus. Lift that. Lift it. Look, walk. Walk. Ten. Ten. Let's go. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Come here. 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 Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Do like this. 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 Do. Are you just looking just like that? Are you just looking just like that? Do like this. 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 The devil is a liar. The devil and his mother in law. Do like this. 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 You are free now. How are you feeling? You are feeling okay. Are you just looking? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Are you surprised? Huh? Yes. You are surprised? Yes. Surprise. We are surprised, men of God. We are surprised, men of God. Huh? This is. What is that? This 
one is a sister. Uh-huh. One day she said to me, she's a, 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 a Satanism. Uh-huh. And then she, she told me that she's a boss. Uh-huh. Yes. Now the Lord has delivered all of you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh! Your child is okay. Look, yes. look. Are you just looking, you people? Jesus. Are you just looking? Celebrate take Jesus. your miracle. Take, 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 take. Oh! Take, take, take oh! your miracle. Receive. Are you just looking just oh, like that? Wow. You're okay now. You are feeling okay. Yes. yes. Do like this. Wow. Do like this. Do like this. Celebrate. Do like this. Do like this. Do like this. Do like this. My God. My it's God. My God. You're okay now. Yes. You see. I told you. Bring that wheelchair. Bring that wheelchair. Bring it here. 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 Bring that wheelchair. Imagine I personally told you that it is very easy. Receive your miracle in the name I of Jesus. Receive it. Receive your miracle now. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. 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 I receive it. Put it down. 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 Now it's me. It's my turn now. Push me. Push me. Push me. Celebrate Jesus, somebody. Push me. Celebrate Jesus. Are you just looking? Celebrate Jesus. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Yeah. Put it here. Sit here. Sit here. Sit. Here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit here. Sit here. Are you just looking just like that? Jesus. You are okay now? Yes. Receive, receive. I receive. Receive, receive. I receive. Receive, receive. I receive. Receive, receive. I receive. Take, 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 take. I receive, 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 I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Lift up your hands wherever you are and shout thank you, Jesus, seven times. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Put up two hands for Jesus and give him praise wherever you are. Clap your hands louder and louder and louder and louder. Hallelujah. Sit down. It's very easy. Papa, I'm here. Huh? Yes. They saw me. Uh-huh. They say, who is that God? Uh-huh. Who can raise you from the dead? God of DD. They want to go and meet you. I say, come. Let my God yes. shock you with miracles. I receive it. Even those that said you would never go anywhere. I receive it. Let them see you shining. I and the shining. I and the shining. I receive it. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. Get out. Superative divine. <laughs> look, look. Huh? You told them. Papa, I don't stop. You don't stop. I don't stop. Look, she got healed. She went and they brought also people. Yes. Stop. They are also healed. My yes. Jesus. Yes. My God. This is the way it must be. This is the way it must be. Stand up. I saw an angel right now wiping away your tears. I receive. I receive. I receive. The Lord says you will never cry again. Amen. No more disappointment. I receive. The cord of disappointment is broken. I receive. The Lord says that he will bless you abundantly. I receive. But there is a grace for children over I your receive. life. I receive. What I mean is that there is 
a grace for you to open an orphanage. I receive. It is done. God bless I you. Thank you, Jesus. All those that are watching us on uh, Facebook, YouTube, I want to invite you for a powerful service which is starting on uh, Friday. It's, it's a three days of resurrection, Easter conversion. And uh, in these three days, we are going to camp here at the holy place. And uh, in these three days, I'm inviting you. I want you to come as my guest. I guarantee you, whatever problem that has failed to leave you, whether financial problem, whether a sickness, whether diabetes, whether any problem. I want you to come for this Easter conversion. And I'm telling you that your life will never be the same again. Amen. And I'll be praying. I'll be praying for everyone. We have a lot of girls that are coming from uh, different places. They'll be ministering along with me. We have uh, Bishop Sanda who's going to be ministering with me. We have Apostle Barnabas. Damina is coming. We have, uh, 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 we have uh, the woman of God, the prophetess, Evangelist Hope, she'll be ministering. Power! Yes! And uh, the church is ready. So come on time, come on time, come prepared. It's just going to be nice. So on Friday, we are going to start in the evening, in the evening, in the evening, in the evening around uh, five, around five. So make sure you are here. It's going to be a live service. God is going to touch you. I wish to see you. Come with your family members, your colleagues, your boyfriend, your, 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 your girlfriends, your, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-bosses. Invite them. Let them come. God is going to touch them. Remember, God is ready for you. I don't know whether you are ready for God. I invite you for this wonderful service. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. Tonight you shall sleep like a baby and wake up like a lion. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom, shalom. Amen. Put it to your hands for Jesus.